Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is Rockin' a Country as always. I am doing Susie Bogus Letting Go. I don't know the song. I didn't grow up on country if you're new to the channel. So a lot of the songs that I react to, you may have grown up with and be like, how could a guy doing a country music reaction channel not know this? I do it because I like analyzing things that I've never heard before. It's just fun for me. And non-pop country music is absolutely so much deeper than I ever knew growing up. And people who are not in the country who think it's just, oh, twangy, hicks, and all that stuff, they do not understand the intellectual component, if you will, that this genre, this art form is. And it is brilliant. So anyway, Susie Boggess, Letting Go, don't know the song, is requested by Jeffrey K. So Jeffrey, shout out to you. And Susie, should you see this, because I'm going to tag you, well, she's so popular, was so popular, is still in the hearts of many, and so many guys had a crush on her. I didn't, because I didn't know of her. I was a rock guy for the first 40 plus years in my life, but I guess there's still time. Who knows? I don't know. Let's find out what Susie's got for us. Letting go. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be one of those. Probably. Unless she's happy to be letting go of a douchebag. I don't know. Oh, it's a video. Uh-oh. Starting with kids. She'll take the painting in the hallway The one she did Divorce. And that old lamp up in the attic She'll need some light to study by She's had 18 years to get ready for this day She should be past the tears She cries so many ways Oh Going to college now? Mother sits down at the table. So many things she'd like to do. Spend more time out in the garden. Oh, yeah. Now she can get those books read too. Nice detail. She's had 18 years to get ready for this day. She should be past the tears, but she cries so many ways. Yeah. Oh, letting go. There's nothing in her way now. Oh, letting go. Oh, my God. I have so many moments in my life where this applied because my ex-wife and I used to own a dance school, a ballet school and a modern dance school. And it was a very large, advanced dance school because we taught proper technique. We had very high level instructors. I was on the, I'm not a dancer. I was on the business customer relations side of it. And I saw when the kids were seniors in high school, they'd already applied to college. We knew which colleges they were going to. And I saw what was happening to the moms, because mostly it was mothers. Dads were off at work, and mothers were doing the driving and schlepping and all that stuff, for the most part. And man, was it so you prepare these kids to go off on their own. You want to make them knowledgeable, smart, common sensible, street smart, intelligent, morally, you know, uh, 
have a bank account there morally, so to speak. All these things as humans. And then you prepare them to go live on their own. And then they do, and you're destroyed. Usually, sometimes you're happy they're out of the house. You're like, please get out. I can't take you anymore. Let someone else deal with your problems. But a lot, I've never heard a song where somebody talks about sending a kid off to college. I don't know if this twists in the end and it becomes about marriage or some other thing, but... Yeah. She spent her whole life waiting. It's never easy letting go. I wonder if this is from the daughter's perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Letting go. There's room enough to fly. And even though she spent her whole life waiting, it's never easy. Hmm. Letting go. It's never easy. Letting We'll be back for Thanksgiving. You know what's nutty? It's not nutty. It's human nature. It's how our psyche works. I didn't have this experience. When I went off to college, I was thrilled to be out of the house. Because my father in ways ruled with an iron thumb in the house. And, you know, it was sort of like a... Whatever. It, you, you had to be quiet. Even as teen... The whole time. So when I got to college, I was thrilled. So I read that into the song thinking this was from the mother's perspective, letting go of the kid, although my father didn't have that. He was happy that we were, my sisters and I were out of the house for college too. But my surrogate daughter, all right, she was doing an internship for her senior year, right? Now, Lex is not my biological daughter, but you know, we're, this is our relationship. And she came to live with me. She's from Arkansas. Those of you who have seen her on the channel once or twice, she's done a couple of videos with me, but she lives in New York City now, but she grew up down in uh, Arkansas, went to U of A. And then when she was doing an internship in the city, which I, I helped her, a couple of friends of mine and I, she asked, Lex asked for help, got her an internship in the city. She got the internship, but we helped with her resume. And, and then she went up living with me for a little more than a year while she was doing her internship. So get up at I'd get up at six in the morning, drive her to the train station, and then get her at God knows what hour she'd be getting home at night. Sometimes one thirty in the morning, and I'm jackassing over to the train station to get her. Welcome to Parenthood, Don. So, and I loved it. I hated moments of it, but I knew that was the parenting experience. It was expensive. I was paying for everything for her. She had, didn't have the means, and I loved that too. And uh, she stayed with me for a bit more than a year, and very quickly, I, be I f went into daddy mode, very quickly. I mean, she was not prepared for the world. As like a 23 year, 22, 23-year-old at that time, she does her internship. Now she's going to move into New York, right? And so we rent the ridiculous little van, drive in. We have to go over the GW Bridge because the Holland and Lincoln Tunnels, they don't allow trucks in them. So yada, 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 we get her apartment, move her in, and we go out to have a quick bite after we move her in. I get back in my ridiculous truck, and I cried the whole way home. I had tears coming. I didn't even know it was possible, right? I had tears the whole way home. I mean, I love this child. And the thing is, is when I got home, I let her know, hey, Lex, I'm home. And I got to let you know, I said, I cried the whole way home because I'm not shy to express my thoughts or feelings for people. I'm not going to go to my grave, people wondering what I, what I thought on the positive side of things. And what Lex responded was, 
at, as you drove away, I felt like a part of my soul left me. And to this day, I'm like, oh my gosh. So as the, the parent or quasi parent, you think this is, you're the only one feeling this. But in this song, I don't know if Susie wrote this. Something tells me that Susie may have written this about her experience going off to college, which is a testament to the songwriter, whomever that is. And if it's Susie, that's fantastic because it's a testament to how she felt about her parents and her home life, that it was very welcoming and warm and that. And that is just such a beautiful dynamic that when you cry, it tells you that there was extreme beauty involved when you cry these sorts of tears and that the, the parent child 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 parent relationship were just a thing of beauty and love. And I know I have that still have it with my Lex, even though I rarely see her. She's a busy woman. She just left for Spain today. Well, I don't see her that often, but those hard feelings never leave. And Susie captured it so well. I've never seen a song heard a song, never even heard a reference in a song to a kid leaving off for college and what that does. Maybe Brooks and Dunn, there is a reference in there, but it wasn't in this context. But in Brooks and Dunn's, I believe, uh, there is a reference to, you know, when he went off to college and all that. But I'm going to rate this song, Jeffrey K. Great. Man, did I like this. It brought up so many thoughts and emotions. And if I can relate to a song, obviously that means a ton. But I'm going to... Re- I, as God, Susie had such a sensitivity in this song, too. I liked the way it was shot. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to like uh, the almost silhouetting and all, and all that. But I, I loved it. it wow. I, you know, I'm shocked. I'm, I, my experience with the song, not an academic analysis per se i mean that's part of how my brain works but i feel things and what i felt in this song was a 9.5 i loved it obviously all right folks hope you enjoyed that too have a great day i'll see you on another video i keep rocking the country